retake on A, but it doesn't matter because FaZer walking into the same site. Nico walking out with the Deagle, doesn't realize there's one player in drop. They spot someone on the fountain, but it's going to be Freddy to strike first. So now both players now notice for Godsend, but actually damage coming through from both sides. Freddy's down to 2 HP, and I don't know if only less with that Deagle will hit the shot. Fantastic, but nonetheless, FaZe Clan again moving back towards this B site. Nico opens it up out of the drop. Will hit out the player, but... It's not going to come out too good for him. Two, two HP left as they do push through. Olaf cleans that one up finally. Two players left now for Godsent as they go for the retake. Potentially, no, looking for the save. Probably wiser here. FaZe Clan just storm once more into the B site. And they've done this. They did this last round. They sort of put their presence in the bomb even more towards this A site. Tried to go and get their foot in there. And when they couldn't sort of spot anything, oh. go for those picks. Oh, no. We'll get the bomb plant. Again, playing sneaky beaky, gets one, but traded out by Rain. Two players versus two. Rain actually forced back away from the chicken coop, taken down very, very low there, and 18 HP is Twist, finds a frag onto Guardian. Needs to land the headshot here if he's in with a shot. Does manage to do just that, and now it's just Disco versus Rain. Rain oh, will no. land the headshot once more, and FaZe Clan with a nice clutch prey this round. Again, we talked about how if Godsent put players up towards this A-long position, they need mid-control, but they only have one player there. And that's allowed Karagan just to sneak in through the connector. It doesn't even matter, though. Olof's just getting kills on B left and right. As he picks up two entry frags, two headshots, Karagan's going to start to sneak in from behind. There's a free one. Doppelin dead, and they never know what hit them. One player from Godsent. It's just easy for FaZe right now. That's all five players. Actually, four, sorry. There's Dennis outside the B bomb site looking to split through the connector, but Carrigan holding things down with the U USP from the connector door will just be doing work. It's actually Rain who finds two as well, looking for a third, and easy does it. FaZe Clan pretty much got the round now. It's all down to this flank from Dennis, but he's given away his position with that kill onto Guardian. They do know where he is. He's going to sort of go and try and find the bomb, but they do know exactly where it is. Oh, Face and rain. Running on in, Guardian from the rock. Not able to open things up. It's Dennis to pick things for the T side. And Guardian actually missing shots. Uncharacteristic of him. He'll follow up. Hits the second, goes for the third, and it's Disco alone. 1v3. Economy doesn't matter for FaZe, because next round, Gotten won't have the cash to play with, so they can afford to lose players as they go for the hunt. It's Disco wrapping around back through the plateau. He's been spotted. Last bits of utility thrown out, and they're going to start to aggress onto him. They line up, though. Disco, two kills. Kills now. It's a 1v1, but he's up against Rain, the top fragger for FaZe, and he will show. No utility to make this one work. A single flashbang is all they will hold. Olaf, here's the flash into middle. Peaks back in. There's one. A second player there, but he's not in position to trade. Rain's even holding the back of Olaf, who will fall down. And now Twist. Ooh, a miss spray, but Rain will connect it anyway, and he'll finish off the job. It's a map win for FaZe. Uh, one versus one with a Deagle. A headshot's all you need. The bomb gets planted. They're aware of where he is at this point. They know what's going on. Nico. Finds a little bit of damage uh, from that oh. nade. But there's the Deeg shot onto Dennis. One more for Schneider, playing close up by... No! The oh dear, Nico is just going to find the shot straight through the smoke. He is able to spot out... Probing, we're trying to look for this pick. Nico sits on top of the fountain, and he will be spotted. Twist takes him down, and now this bomb should start to rotate. Carrigan going to have to go big, only a pistol to work with. How is he not dead? Just jumping around the site, two kills. And as well, Disco's low around the corner. Carrigan only needs a bullet. As he falls back, just he needs to de delay the push here from Godsend. Doesn't need to make a fight, because it's down to rain, and he'll find them both. They line up. Shiner's position, already forced towards the edge of balcony. With his position, he can burst onto A, but the issue is they don't know rain's here. He's pushed down middle and dropped the bomb as well. Doesn't need to overcommit, but it doesn't matter, because it's rained already. Just swapping players around. Guardian's now down on B with the AWP, and oh no, he grabs a free kill. Freddy B over facing, dead as a result, and Rain catches out the A push, so Godsend, two men down and no one here to trade. That's the most important part. If you look at the setup of Godsend, not a single one of those, uh, sorry, solo peaks had a player allowing them to trade. So FaZe are getting free kills, and Godsend aren't punishing for it. Just, uh, yeah. Two Deagles Ooh. to contend with. Make that three players left for FaZe, but that's traded off across the map. Now 14 HP left on Godsend, and that is going to be all she wrote for the heart. Pushing in close, Schneider is fully flashed, has to play up through the boiler. Nico, meanwhile, has pushed all the way through, and Rain's done the same. Where's Schneider? Able to pick up the frag with the CZ, as Schneider actually fell all the way back through boiler. I think he's in apartments, and Nico able to close off some, some rotates as well. Finds a second Guardian, able to get it down, and now FaZer just running rampage across the game.
down on phase. They have the advantage, but Olof is going to equalize that. Kerrigan looking to go for the face onto Balcony. Will spot out the player and goes for the headshot through the wall. Able to put them back into the advantage. Two players now for Godsend, both towards that A site. Dennis playing up close on the site. Will hear the plant go through. Turns the corner, tries to spot it out. Actually stops the plant, but gets traded back now in a one versus one as Freddy looking for that final frag has the AWP has the one-shot potential, but Guardian is going to go for the plant now. Has plenty of time to get that one down. Trying to go for the shoulder peak, and it does go through, and a nice headshot. Bullets flying so close to his head, and not too sure they spotted him out. Oh, Nico playing around oh. that smokes just exactly like he's, he's done before. And then once again, they've just swapped positions. They cannot find where he is. He is so sneaky right now. Nico looking for another player as well. He's let him pass. No, oh, no. Spray. oh, that was so, so close. But they've rotated away. Godsent have moved off the bomb site. They allowed Nico to get the plant with some crazy sneaky plays coming oh. out from Nico. Lands another headshot, not quite able to get it down. Been back in to grab the bomb, but the CTs are essentially retaking the bomb site. Rain's still going to come in from behind, even if Godsend get control and kill these players, but it doesn't seem to matter. Nico doing more damage. Rain has finally retrieved the bomb, and this is exactly what I mean. He's going to be walking back in from behind Dennis, and he has absolutely no idea. Don't think he'll check the boiler, might just walk towards the end of apartments, but if, Rain, if Dennis starts to move up, Rain gets a free kill, just bypasses him, and he will make noise having to cross back down onto that site, and Dennis is holding on for the time being. 30 seconds left, but he could catch across. Oh, it's God 10. Both players split up, looking to regroup for this retake. Carrigan hunts for a pick. As he looks to turn this into a 1v1, he may be given an opportunity. Dennis sneaking up through mid, won't expect this wrap in through boiler. And Carrigan, oh, it's all going to come down to timing. Dennis wrapping around long. And time ticking away here. Carrigan, he doesn't need to do anything, can just hold on. The bomb's planted perfectly for him. The smokes are going to start to rain on through for Godsend, and they aggress towards the site. Kits up on both players, smoke on the bomb, but Carrigan preemptively peaks, and that will be the game. FaZe Clan take it 16 to 10. It